Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm going to give you an in-depth look at the stadium and some places that we visited along the way on our trip to beautiful Las Vegas. So stay tuned. John Earl Madden, born April 10, 1936, was an American football coach and sports commentator in the National Football League. He served as the head coach of the Oakland Raiders from 1969 to 1978, who he led to eight playoff appearances, seven division titles, seven AFL-AFC championship games appearances, and the franchise's first Super Bowl title in Super Bowl XI. Madden, who never had a losing season, holds the highest winning percentage among NFL head coaches. Bob Brown, or Boomer, was joined with the Raiders after five years with the Eagles and two with the Rams. He played in 34 games with 32 starts. Brown was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2004. He was selected for six Pro Bowls, including one with the Raiders, and named first team All-Pro five times during his career. Brown was named first or second team All-AFC or All-NFL by several publications during his first two years with the Raiders. James Lofton joined the Raiders after nine years with the Green Bay Packers. He played in 28 games with 28 starts and caught 69 passes for 1,429 yards and five touchdowns. Lofton went on to play for Buffalo, Philadelphia, and the Los Angeles Rams. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2003. Lofton also spent 2008 as the Raiders' wide receivers coach. Marcus Allen. The Raiders selected Allen, a Heisman Trophy winner at USC, in the first round of the 1982 NFL Draft. During the strike-shortened 1982 season, Allen earned AP Offensive Rookie of the Year honors. He was selected to five Pro Bowls as a Raider. Allen was named AP All-Pro First Team twice. He was named NFL's Most Valuable Player for his efforts during the 1985 season. The Raiders' all-time leading rusher gained 8,545 yards on 2,090 carries with 79 touchdowns. Dave Casper the Raiders selected the Ghost in the second round of the 1974 NFL Draft out of Notre Dame. He played in 99 games with 61 starts in two stints with the Raiders, wrapped around time with Houston and Minnesota. He caught 255 passes for 3,294 yards and 35 touchdowns, and was a key member of the Raiders Super Bowl XI championship team. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2002. Casper was named first team All-Pro four times and selected for four Pro Bowls as a Raider. Ronnie Lott. Lott joined the Raiders after 10 years with the 49ers. He played in 32 games with 32 starts and recorded nine interceptions for 52 yards. He forced two fumbles and recovered two fumbles. He finished his career with two years with the Jets. Lott was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2000. 
Howie Long. The Raiders selected Long in the second round of the 1981 NFL Draft out of Villanova. He played in 179 games with 151 starts and recorded 84 sacks, 2 interceptions for 84 yards and 10 fumble recoveries. Long was a key member of the Raiders in 1983 Super Bowl championship team. He was selected to play in 8 Pro Bowls and named first team All-Pro twice. Long was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2000. Eric Dickerson Dickerson played in 16 games with 15 starts during his first season with the Raiders. He played most of his career with the St. Louis Rams. He gained 729 of his 13,259 career rushing yards on 187 carries and scored two touchdowns. He also caught 14 passes for 85 yards and one touchdown. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999. Mike Haynes. 1983, his contract was awarded to the Los Angeles Raiders in a settlement that gave the Patriots a number one draft choice in 1984 and number two pick in 1985. He started in the Raiders Super Bowl 18 victory, notching one interception, two pass breakups, and one tackle. In seven seasons with the Raiders, Hayes added 18 interceptions to give him a career total of 46 which were returned for 688 yards and two touchdowns, including a team record 97-yard return against Miami in 1984. Haynes finished that season with a league-leading 220 interception return yards. He also had 12 career fumble recoveries. Haynes was an all-pro choice in 1977, 78, 82, 84, 85, and an all-AFC pick 8. Al Davis, born July 4, 1929, was an American football coach and executive. He was the principal owner and general manager of the National Football League, Oakland Raiders, for 39 years, 1972 until his death in 2011. Prior to becoming principal owner of the Raiders, he served as the team's head coach from 1963 to 65 and part owner from 66 to 71. Assuming both positions while the Raiders were part of the American Football League, he served as AFL commissioner in 1966. Known for his motto, Just Win Baby, the Raiders became one of the NFL's most successful and popular teams under Davis's management. The franchise enjoyed their greatest success during 1970s and 1980s where they were perennial playoff contenders and won three Super Bowl titles. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1992. Davis was an active in civil rights, refusing to allow the Raiders to play in any city where black and white players had to stay in separate hotels. He was the first NFL owner in the modern era to hire a black head coach, Art Shell. First to hire a female chief executive, Amy Trask, and the first NFL owner to hire a Latino head coach, Tom Flores. He remains the only executive in NFL history to be an assistant coach, head coach, general manager, commissioner, and owner. Ted Hendricks. The Raiders traded two draft picks to Green Bay for Hendricks rights. Hendricks joined the Raiders after five years with the Baltimore Colts and one with the Packers. He played in 131 games with 122 starts and was a key member of all three Raiders Super Bowl winning teams. He recorded 10 interceptions for 111 yards and one score. He recovered 10 fumbles as well. He was named to the Pro Bowl four times as a Raider and selected first team All-Pro twice. Kick him in the head Ted was inducted into Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1990. Art Shell. The Raiders selected Shell in the third round of the 1968 NFL Draft out of Maryland Eastern Shore. He played in 207 games with 169 starts. Shell was selected for eight Pro Bowls, was named first team All-Pro twice, played in 23 playoff games, and was a key member of two Raiders Super Bowl championship teams, 1976 and 1980. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1989. Shell also served two stints as head coach of the Silver and Black. 
Fred Bolitnikoff. After the Raiders selected him in the second round of the 1965 AFL draft, Bolitnikoff donned number 14 before switching to his signature number 25 in 67. He played 24 games in number 14 and caught 41 passes for 603 yards and 3 touchdowns. In all, Bolitnikoff played in 190 games with 144 starts and caught 589 passes for 8,974 yards and 76 touchdowns. He was named the MVP of Super Bowl XI as the Raiders defeated the Minnesota Vikings 32-14. to He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1988. Gene Upshaw Highway 63 was selected by the Raiders in the first round of the 1967 NFL Draft out of Texas A&I, now called Texas A&M. One of the greatest players in NFL history, Upshaw was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1987 after playing in 217 regular season games with 207 starts. 24 playoff games, and three Super Bowls. Upshaw was named to seven All-Star Games Pro Bowls and named First Team All-Pro five times. He went on to become the Executive Director of the NFL Players Association, a post he held until his death in 2008. Willie Brown Acquired in a trade with the Denver Broncos, Brown was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame on July 28, 1984. His mark of 39 interceptions is tied for the most in franchise history. He was named All-Pro seven times and he played in five AFL All-Star games and four NFL Pro Bowls. He set a then record with a 75-yard interception return for a touchdown in Super Bowl XI. Brown is widely considered the progenitor of the bump and run style of man-to-man pass coverage. George Blanda. As a Raider, he completed 119 of 235 pass attempts for 1,835 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 18 interceptions. He appeared in 126 games with one start at quarterback. As a kicker, Blanda made 156 of 249 field goal attempts and 395 of 403 extra point attempts. His 863 points are second all-time in Raiders history. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1981. Jim Otto inducted into Pro Football Hall of Fame on August 2, 1980, the only all-league center the American Football League ever had. Chosen to Hall of Fame at AFL All-Star Team of the Decade. Named the All-American Football Conference Center for three more seasons. Started in 210 consecutive league games, most in Raiders history, Including preseason, postseason, and all star games, he played in 308 games as a Raider. He was last of the original Raiders, participated in nine AFL All Star games, and in three AFC NFC Pro Bowls. During his 15 year career, the Raiders won seven division championships and the AFL championship in 1967 twice winner of the Gorman Award, 1968 and 71, as player who best exemplifies the pride and spirit of the Oakland Raiders, selected to AFL-NFL 25-year All-Star team, third AFL player inducted into Hall of Fame, elected to the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility, rejoined Raiders front office in special projects in 1995. Ron Mix Mix joined the Raiders after 10 years with the San Diego Chargers. He played in 12 games with four starts. Mix was the former first Raider inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1979. Now I know that this doesn't have anything to do with Ron Mix, but I had to put it in there because Lyle Alzado. From 1982 to 85, he joined the Raiders after eight seasons with the Broncos and three with the Browns. 
He played in 51 games with 51 starts and recorded 23 sacks, two safeties, and four fumble recoveries, including one return for a touchdown. And he was a key member of the Raiders' Super Bowl 18 championship team.
The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Nation, let's go, let's go, raider nation, let's go, let's go, raider nation, nation. Let's go, let's go, wait a nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation, let's go. Let's go, wait a nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation, let's go, let's go, wait a nation, nation. 
Just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. 